like this potato and mashed potato. I'm going to be showing you how to do roasted garlic mashed potatoes. They are by far the best mashed potatoes you'll ever try. Wash them, I peeled them and chopped them up, and I just covered them with water. And now we're going to put them up the boil. We took both the garlic. We're going to put just maybe a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half of uh, olive oil. Give it a nice toss. It's fully coated. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to fold this in half, and then we're just going to keep turning this to seal it. We're going to put this in the 375 degree oven probably for about 25 minutes and we'll shake it up maybe one or two times during the 25 minutes. I'm checking our garlic now and see how this is turning brown. That means it's almost done, but squishy, but not squishy enough. I'm just put it in for another like five to ten minutes and then I'll show you what it's like. Garlic was in for right about 20, 25 minutes and then that's done. What we want to do is we want to put it out on a cutting board. We want to make a uh, garlic paste out of this. You'll notice I'm not even chopping it, I'm just stirring it. You know, it'll be a beautiful paste, which will mix into my mashed potatoes. It tastes really beautiful. How do you know when our potatoes are ready for mashing? When you can take a spoon and mash it pretty easy, it's ready for mashing. What we're going to do is we're going to strain these now, and we're going to let them just sit in the colander for probably about four or five minutes and just let them steam. Our potatoes have been steaming for probably just about four or five minutes. Let's just kind of get some of the water out. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add our butter. Butter should try to be hopefully like room temperature. I'm using unsalted butter. I have a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of black pepper that I'm adding. I have our roasted garlic. I can use a rice or a potato masher. Once your potatoes are fully mashed, we're going to add some hot milk or yeah, the butter that I added. The recipe will be listed down below in the description. I'm actually going to only add half of it. In general, you don't want to mix potatoes too much because it develops the starch and they get very, very sticky. absolutely love these. I highly recommend them. Anyway, uh, also, if you're dairy-free, you can use almond milk or soy milk in place of regular milk. You can use margarine.